Anglers. This is Fishing 101. How to make your own spinner baits. <clears throat> now, when you're making your own spinner baits, you're not actually manufacturing your willow blades and your, your spinner heads, things like that. Uh, you can make your own skirts if you want to, but what I like to do is uh, buy parts off of lorepartsonline.com because yeah, like if you go to a store, you go and you buy like a KVD spinner bait, uh, it's gonna cost you like eight or nine dollars because it's KVD. You can make a spinner bait with just as good quality if you buy the parts yourself. So I buy the willow blades, the head, the beads, the clevis, the uh, swivels, and the skirts all on Lore Parts Online. This whole thing right here, just to make this, is only gonna cost me like three or four bucks because the blades the clevis the beads the, all that stuff is cheap the most expensive part would be the head which I think was two dollars and when you buy the clevises and all these stuff like this bag of beads it came with a hundred beads and it was only like a buck so you figure I'm gonna use six beads for this you know it's it's just a fraction of the price the thing is, when you buy your parts online and you make it yourself, not only is it good quality, but you can make a whole mess of them. You can save money, you can give them to your friends, you can sell them on Amazon if you want. So, I'm going to show you how to make your own spinnerbaits. So, uh, the spinnerbait I bought is a uh, True Image spinnerhead. And um, it's got the face of a fish, and it's got the little eyeball, it's got a really sharp hook in there nice build quality I got a matching skirt to go with the bass willow blade and then I have a silver willow blade here I have two types of clevises I have a metal clevis here I don't know if you can see it and I have a plastic one the plastic one is a quick change clevis so if I want to change my second willow blade I can I can just pop it off and put another one on so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the skirt on. So I'm just going to grab the skirt. And I'm going to put the hook through it. And slide it on. And it's, it's all rubber, so you can just slide that sucker on until it gets all the way to the back of the head. the skirt's even. <clears throat> Bam! First part's done. See that? Now, gotta have beads. The beads uh, will separate the blades and they'll also uh, make it easier for the blades and the clevis to spin around. You can get colored plastic beads too, but I choose to go with metallic because I like putting a lot of shiny objects in the water for the, to attract the fish. So I'm going to start off with two beads right here, and then I'm going to put the clevis on, tiny black clevis, you can hardly see it. I got a black background here, I got to make sure I put this on right. Once I get it on, I won't be able to get it off again. So I got that on there. And then I'm going to throw four more beads on here to create some separation. Because if the willow blades are too close, they'll hit each other and they won't spin right. You'll have problems. They also have uh, plastic separators that are just like long plastic tubes you can put in between the willow blades so there there it is okay and now you're gonna need two sets of pliers I have a regular set of pliers and I have a, a split a set of split ring pliers Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to go to the very top right here and I'm going to curve. 
curve it. And I'm not going to close it all the way. I'm just going to get it enough so I can get the swivel on there. And then once I put the swivel on, I'm going to close it up the rest of the way. So give it a little squeeze, and then when you're done, you'll have the uh, swivel just hanging off the back of it. I hope you can see it. Okay? So that's on there, and it's not going to come off. And um, then what you're going to do is you're going to put your blades on. So I'm going to put my shiny blade on here first. I'm going to snap it onto the quick the quick change clevis. Everything is so tiny. Okay. And you can see that's on there now. And then I'm going to take my split ring pliers put the other willow blade on. Just got to find the opening here. Get yourself a pair of these split ring pliers because it makes all the difference. Boom. That's on there. <clears throat> so now, I'll hold it in my hand so you can see it. I have my own custom spinner bait. There it is. Only cost me a few bucks. And about 10 minutes to put together and I'm going to add that to my fishing arsenal. Again you should check out lore parts online because they have uh, tons of these and they'll show you how to make them and they'll show you what parts to buy. They have uh, parts for walleye and pike, crankbait parts, all kinds of stuff. Uh, on the next one I'm going to show you how to make your own buzz bait. This is Torrance Davis with uh, Bubba Bass Anglers. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.